staff. And, and I get the impression that you want to do that, that you want to try and make it less spoken about in whispers or hushed tones. Absolutely. I mean, I, without the assistance of IVF, I wouldn't have my two beautiful children. Yeah. And even though they don't sleep, I really do love them. Yeah. Just not at three o'clock in the morning. Okay. <laughs> That's a common complaint. <laughs> but... Um, my husband and I had IVF. I'm 40 now. Right. So, you know, we left it a little bit late and it was the most fantastic thing mm -hmm. that we could have ever done. But do you think there is a thing about it? I don't know if stigma is too strong a word this, these days, but... There really is, because for me, I spent many, many years trying to conceive naturally. Yeah. Have IVF, because I just thought, why? I don't want to have IVF. I, you know, why? I want to... And it really meant a lot to me to conceive a baby naturally. And then... Somebody pointed out to me, well, why? Surely the point is to have a baby, not how it's conceived. And I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Light bulb moment. So then we went, first, first cycle, we were very lucky. You were lucky. Can you hear about couples of these awful scenarios where they're just trying and... Lucky. We had mild IVF, so a very low dosage of drugs, okay. which works with your own body sure. and your own, your own body's rhythms. And, yeah, so we, we have two beautiful children and one still in the freezer. It's like a ready meal. Did you put one in the, fr in the freezer? Get away. No, yeah, he's so in the freezer. So what do you want every 18 months? Oh, waffles, now. Nah. <laughs> Ice cream, now. Nah. Yeah. Child, actually, I'd love oh, one yeah, of those. Actually. That's some freezer. I know. Just put it, well, you just put it in, you know, you, you just put it in the oven for nine months <laughs> and then it pops out and then you've got a baby. We're still talking about children, Jasmine. <laughs> just, you wouldn't want to go to the freezer after a few jobs.